G'day, I'm Nev Sweeney and this is Under the Choco Tree. Today I'd like to talk to you about potting on some of those seedlings that we talked about raising last time into newspaper pots. So the question you could ask is why bother? Why would you want to put your seedlings into newspaper pots? And there's a number of reasons why it's worthwhile. The first one being when you first remove the seedlings from the punnet, um, you're wrecking around with the roots, it causes problems for the plant, a thing called transplant shock. If it's going straight out into the ground, into the sun, then they have less protection to cope with that. Uh, if you put them on into newspaper pots and you've got them to the stage where they're already over the transplant shot, because when you're putting them in the ground, like this, they go straight in, the newspaper pot decays uh, and you don't have that issue with transplant shock. Also, you're putting them into the ground at a larger stage, so they're bigger, healthier, they're more likely to resist pests, um, you've got a better chance of them surviving. Um, also, uh, another factor is when you're putting them in, if you're just putting them straight from the punnet because you've got issues with a transplant shock, one of the best things you can do is to put them in either early in the morning or late in the evening so that they're not going out into direct sunlight. Uh, because the sun and the heat, particularly in the warmer times of the year, um, is going to dry the plant out. When you're putting them in in a newspaper pot, it not only has uh, the plant has not only grown larger, it's also got a reservoir of water in here, so you can plant them almost any time of day. Uh, plus the fact that once they're in here, they've got a reservoir of nutrients, reservoir of water. So if things get busy, your life gets busy, uh, and you don't get a chance to put them out at the time when you intended to, they will hold in here for a number of weeks, uh, and when they go into the ground, they'll still be happy. So before we can pot on, we need to make our newspaper pots. And we usually do that out of newspaper. Funny about that. So I use our local newspaper, which arrives free of charge. You can usually cut anything up to, uh, to half a dozen of these layers at a time. So we start out, I'll just start out with two to show you how that works. We fold it into strips along the length of the newspaper. Then, using scissors, cut down the folds. So from two newspaper pages, I get theoretically eight newspaper pots. So that gives me eight of these strips. Now there are a number of ways that you can make uh, newspaper pots. One way is to use the imaginatively titled pot maker. I make a lot of these as part of our process, so I bought one, find it very, very handy. Uh, all you do is not too tightly, if you wind the newspaper around the pot maker very, very tightly, then what you tend to find is it's very difficult to slide off. So I've just wound it around, fold this over, into the little bottom former and there we have the newspaper pot. If you don't have a, uh, a pot maker then another way you can do it is using a, a drinking glass but the drinking glass needs to have parallel sides and uh, it needs to have the bottom about roughly the size of the pot you're looking at so um, uh, 50 millimeters is good. So again same process wind the newspaper strip around the open end of the glass, not too tightly, and then just fold the bottom in, form the bottom of the pot, slide the pot out, slide the bottom in, push down, and there's your newspaper pot. Okay, so now that we have our newspaper pots, it's time to pot on some of the seedlings that I showed you how to grow in a previous video using the potting mix I showed you how to make in a previous video. So here's our grown load of seedlings. It's important to wait until you've got 
two sets of leaves to do your transplanting. So the two seed leaves, which are pretty generic, and the two true leaves, which show more what the plant is like. So if you're growing brassicas, uh, basically all of the seeds, seed leaves will look alike. Um, but the, once the true leaves come on, you'll be able to tell the difference between them. So you want to have uh, four leaves. Also, because the roots are somewhat immature, you want to be able to tease out the whole block uh, of, uh, of seedlings. And to do that, I have a special tool called a paddle pop stick. So before I use that, I'm going to fill up my newspaper pot with seed raising mix. Make sure your seed raising mix is nice and damp, that way you don't have any dust issues and it holds together uh, well. So that's what I've done, filled up the pot, put a, uh, a little finger hole down in there so I've got somewhere to put the seedlings. So what I'm going to do then is tease out the seedlings. We've got the label there, so I want to know what I've got. Slide that down and then just gently move them apart, doing as least damage as possible to the roots. And move those apart, place that down into the newspaper pot. Move it around. And there we have our potted on seedling. Once you've got your newspaper pot uh, with its seedling, you can keep them growing for anything up to a month in the newspaper pot. That's one of the advantages of having them. You can see on this one that uh, you, there are a number of roots that are coming through the damp newspaper. So when you plant it into the ground, um, it'll go in and start moving into the soil straight away. Okay, so that's how we make and use newspaper pots to pot on our seedlings and then plant them out into the ground. Uh, with both the seedlings and the, uh, the pellets of freshly sown seeds, you need a way of keeping them moist uh, without them being too damp so they, uh, they don't dry out too quickly and they, uh, you don't have issues with fungus. And a way to do that is to make a capillary bed. And I'll show you how to make a capillary bed in the next video. Thanks for watching.